Yeah. I have been in crossroads, though, actually. <laughs> I was in an episode involving a fork lunch. Well, I was told it was a fork lunch. The script had it down as a finger buffet. <laughs> I said to Rex, the floor manager, I said, Rex, love, are you on cans? Because I, I need some direction on this point. Are we toying or are we tucking in? He said, forget it, Bab. They've scrapped the food now, any road. <laughs> I was playing a woman in a musquash coat. I was a, a guest at the wedding reception. Now, I was only scheduled to do the one episode, but I thought if in my performance I could suggest that I'd taken an interest in the hotel, I might catch the director's eye. And he'd keep me on for the following episode, which involved a full-blown weekend. <laughs> so, I acted an interest in the soft furnishings. I ran my finger over the floor mica, and I admired the carpet on the walls. <laughs> Only Rex comes over and he said, uh, Excuse me, love. He said, we put you in that coat to suggest an air of sophistication. Do you think you might look like you're more suited to a three-star motel? <coughs> well, I'm not used to that kind of a motel, I can tell you. I said to the fella I was sat next to, who I took to be my husband, I said, orange nylon curtains and no placemats. Not even the veneer of civilisation. He said, oh, don't talk to me about orange nylon. I was on a jury once that sentenced Richard Attenborough to death. Oh, we'd been told to indulge in the simulated cocktail chit-chat, so we weren't being unprofessional, you know, by talking. Because uh, that's something I pride myself on, being professional. I am professional, right down to my fingertips. Anything I get involved in, even if it's just a walk-on part, I must, must, must get involved. I can't help myself. People who know me say that I'm quite a serious person. But it's funny, I never get offered serious parts. Mm -hmm.